Okay. <clears throat> from what I showed you on the board, let me show you. So from what you are seeing on the board, from P to K, K is the key. From then to E, E is the battery, and R sub X, which is the unknown resistor given, and then A, which is the ammeter, Q, which is the 100 cm part of the potentiometer, and then J is where the jockey should be, and that is V, which is measuring the, distance, the voltmeter between P and Q, or between, yes, between P and Q, which I'm going to explain later. This is how I'm going to set up my, um, this is how my table should be set up. I'm going to record JQ. Why do I need to record JQ? JQ is going to be 100 minus PJ. You see PJ from here to this place is the PJ. That is what I am going to record. And that is what this PJ is all about. From this J, uh, PJ, it's 35, 45, 55, 65. But then, that is actually not what I'm measuring. That, that one is what I am cutting out, which I'm going to explain later. But what I am actually measuring is this place, which is 100 minus L sub zero, which is called JQ, which is L1, 65, 55, 45, 35. That is the value which I'm measuring. And that is what the value of the voltmeter is going to be recorded. For every 65, there will be a value, corresponding value of the voltmeter, which will correspond to 65 cm and all the rest of them. <sighs> all right, so I think that is something I didn't draw. Let me just put the unit of the 100 minus L0. So the unit of 100 minus L0 is L in CM. That is what, so let's check what we have, how do we manipulate these values. So this place now is the P. P from P to the key. From key, I'll measure to the, to the battery. To the battery from battery, I will go back to to the real start to the resistor. This is R sub X. Then this is A ammeter. Then this is the other end of the potentiometer. So this is the length of the potentiometer. This is the other length of the potentiometer, which is Q. Then this is the voltmeter connected across across the potentiometer. All right, let me show you how we are going to manipulate it. Now, first of all, I'm going to close the key. When I close the key, be watching my, my voltmeter. As I'm closing the key, the voltmeter has changed. Let's measure the the reading of the voltmeter. So I'm measuring three, which is 0 0.9 volts. Then what is the corresponding value of the current? Value of the current is going to be Zero point two five. Okay, let me find. So the value of the current is zero point six. All right. So with this value, I can manipulate the rest of the values. All right. So um, let us manipulate the values for the sake of exam. Remember, manipulation is not, it's not very good to manipulate. But I found out that what matters is passing exam. So if manipulation can help me make, make me pass, I will manipulate it. Because what people care is your knowledge and your certificate. When the knowledge comes, we do the knowledge. But for now, let us pass exam first. So now, remember... My when I did not connect, I've made this experiment. Please, you need to watch the previous video I dropped. 
What I am measuring from here, this is 0 n, 0 cm, to this place, is what I call pj. It's no, I'm not measuring from here to j. No. I am cutting this out to measure j to q, which is the actual value of 65. So you see what I will do. When I do not connect j, joki, what I recorded, what my v gave me, v naught gave me is 0 0.9. 0 0.90 volt. Your own may give you a different thing. Your own may give you a different thing. And because according to kickoff principle, according to kickoff principle, the voltage from here to here, which is a voltage drop, plus the voltage drop from here, if you add the voltage across this one, plus voltage across the PQ, it will give you the total voltage of the E. Therefore, what I will do is, but my concern is not this one. I just want to find you with length. I want what, what is PQ doing with length? So as I get that, I'm now going to say that voltage for PQ is equal to, is equal to D is equal to K L 100 CM. Because the voltage across PQ is equivalent to the potential difference from 0 n to 100 cm length. And according to the potentiometer, V varies with length. Now, this is 100 cm now. So V for PQ is equal to K times 100. But I know VPQ, I have already found it as 0 0.9. So 0 0.9 is equal to K times 100 in cm. So K, which is the constant, the constant of the wire, or what you call the resistivity. Yes, the constant of the wire. Will it be the resistivity? Just the constant I have for this experiment. Let me not enter into what I cannot define. Divide by 100, which I'm going to have 0 0.9 divided by 100, 0 0.009. The unit is going to be volt per cm. This is my constant. That is my constant. All right. So see what happened. When I am having voltage, which is the voltage for this guy, when I when I put the jockey at when I put the jockey at 35, what I'm measuring is actually 65. Therefore, I'm going to plot this L against V, or I can plot this value against V. Anyone can go. So what should I do? So at V for this one now is going to be equal to K is already given at what? 9 times 10 raised to a minus 3. 9 times 10 raised to a minus 3, which is something as 0.009V sub C times the value of the length under 65. Because I have put, I'm measuring this one, what voltage is there? So I'm going to write under, yes, which is 65, which is 65 cm, okay? Uh, this is V all over cm, cm cancel cm. Please don't go into that rigorous thing I am doing there. Just multiply 0 0.09 times 65, 0 0.09, 0 0.009, and this is 0. .9. Yes, 0 0.009 times 65. The voltage there is 0 0.585. Under this one, I'm going to have uh, 0 0.009 times 55. I'll have 0 0.495. Then under 45, I'm having 0 0.009 times 45. This 45, so I'll have 0 0.405. Under 35, 0 0.009 times 35. I'll have 3, uh, I'll have 0 0.315. These are the values of the voltage that correspond with the value of this or this. You may be asked to plot a graph of V, this L against V, against this V, or this against this. However, 
what can I do with this current right now? For me to be able to find the value of current. Remember, I know this guy. I know this value. I know this value, which is 1. Because Y gave us, gave us 1. This is 1 ohm. So, the, I know the length of this value, which is um, 100 cm length. I know them. So, under 65, I'm going to have L, which is resistant, KL. I know what is K. K is 0 0.09. So, I'm going to find total resistance. E sub S is going to be 1 plus. K is 0 0.09. 0 0.09. 0 0.009 times 65. This is the voltage. Uh, resistors is one. So uh, for not for me not going into too much details, uh, let me concentrate on the length per voltage. I know I can do that, but for the sake of time, for the sake of time, because I wanted to find the value of this resistance and the value of the resistance of J to Q, find the total resistance equated to this. I can find my value. I can also use this equation. I can also say E is equal to capital V plus small v. Yes, uh, that can also work. Whereby I say that E is equal to I small r plus I capital R. Whereby this R is R sub X. But well, I don't want to confuse you. I don't want to make it a little too bigger. But just have this value for length versus voltmeter. They may not go too far from this. Thank you so much for being part of this video. Please always share this video. Hit the subscribe button and like. Thank you.